Good evening, everyone. Good day to everyone, wherever you are in the world. On this 26th of December, the day after Christmas. Energies have been all over the place and weird for everybody. Um, Christmas is a heightened time anyway of emotions where people get together this time of year. But also on the 26th today, and in actual fact, in about half an hour's time, East, Eastern Standard Time is the full cold moon of December. The last full moon of the year, December the 26th, 2023. And it's a cancer moon, so it's full of emotions. Bringing up old habits, old traumas, old triggers. Teaching you to learn about them and to move on. For everybody. I know I have been. And I just wanted to say what's going to happen and what you've got to deal with and what everyone's dealing with at the moment. Obviously, the details are different and everyone's lives are different. But I'm going to say this, read this out. It comes from Bustle. The year is quickly winding down, but before we can say goodbye with champagne flutes and flashy party fits, we have to face the final lunation of 2023. The full cold moon arrives on December 26th at 7.33 Eastern Time in La Luna's home sign of Cancer where it feels most comfortable. But because the water sign has a reputation for being weepy, sentimental and tender-hearted, your year-end celebrations may stir up emotions and tears than usual. As the last full moon of 2023, its powerful power will be undeniable. It may sound unsettling, but it's actually the perfect storm of energy for this last time of year. And once you know the spiritual meaning of the December full cold moon, you'll understand why. Full moon phases occur at the end of each lunar cycle, which is why the monthly event is often associated with closing chapters and letting go of things that no longer serve you. Luckily for you, this full moon is conveniently timed with the end of the year, which will make completing this cycle feel that much more deserved. That said, the significance of this lunation goes beyond its placement on the calendar. A head astrology, Catherine Gerdes, shares what you need to know about the full cold moon so you can use the celestial event to prevail you into 2024. So let's get spiritual, shall we? If it wasn't obvious, the cold moon is named after the winter season, which is fitting because La Luna will be arriving just a few days after the winter solstice occurs on December the 21st. But because the moon will be in Cancer, emotions will be running high enough as it is. But according to Gerdes, Chiron will also be send, ending its retrograde and moving direct on December the 26th, which means you can finally begin to heal from painful past experiences, but not before shredding or shedding a few tears first. Because Neptune will be squaring Mercury, you might be forced to confront one uncertainty as well, which can be a scary feeling going into the new year. Seeing through the fog and communicating clearly could be obstacles and we can feel a bit more sensitive, say Gerdes. Even the most stoic person you know could break down in tears this holiday season. So if you start to feel a sting behind your eyes after answering the question, are you seeing anybody for the fifth time? You might want to remove yourself from the situation before you make a scene. How do we navigate this cold moon energy? There's about to be so much energy coursing through the sky this lunation and thankfully here are a few things you can do to make the cold moon power work in your favour. For starters, Gerdes recommends channeling your inner cancer and tapping into your intuition. Preferably near a body of water so you can do some much needed reflection before the end of the year. Feeling our feelings can come naturally and honouring our emotional needs can be the medicine. The moon will also be trining fellow water sign Pisces during this time, which means spirituality and introspection will be illuminated. For Gerdes, now is the time to honour your self-awareness and consider how leading with feelings has led to your current circumstances so that you can start the new year with a clear mind and a new perspective. Lastly, because Jupiter is forming a sextile with the moon, sensitivity will be an all-time high. Don't let your reactions get the best of you, though. In fact, 
Use the time to explore why you connect the way you do. The more clarity we get on our emotions, the more control we have over them. The 2024 version of yourself will thank you for the lessons you'll learn this lunation if you use this time wisely. Now, I read that earlier today and I wanted to say it because it reminded me of my lessons and things that I have to let go of. And I sadly allowed my reactions to overcome me. I allowed my own energies to overcome me and I've lost a lot of faith and despondence. But I know that's all me and it's all me that's got to deal with it. Even if it's other people's energies. I allowed those energies to change me and who I was over the years, whether they're triggers, traumas, personal or childhood traumas. And I have to realize that those traumas, triggers and all that, that we all have and we all do, we have to look introspectively to see the behaviors that we exhibit because of them. I also have to consider others and love and consideration, but in doing that, you have to tell the truth. No matter how hard, no matter how bad it may be, no matter how bad it may, you, may make you look, But the truth is always in your heart. And I can spend time and waste time looking around and saying it's because of this full moon or because of that phase or because of this energy or that energy or this trigger or that trauma. And that could be right in all of them. But I have to stop and look at what behaviors that creates in me, what triggers that creates in me. How do I think? How do I feel? And then I have no right, no matter what has happened to me, no matter what I feel, I don't have a right to inflict those energies or those behaviors onto other people. Communication people. The human race and the human speech, whatever language you speak, is one of the worst known forms of data transfer that there ever is. There's not enough words to describe how we all feel when we're trying to talk to people. But that's why we have to talk more. That's why we have to communicate with each other and understand the feelings and the emotions and everything that's going forward and why the energies are what they are. We live in a world of mediums and psychics, but not everybody, not every medium or psychic can know exactly. They can feel your energy. They can feel deceit. They can feel holding back. They can feel love. They can feel pain. They can feel every emotion that you'll be feeling, but they won't know the details. And we're all fall into this trap, hoping that we'll find someone or be with people or a group of people, friends or partners or family or whatever that will understand us without having to explain. But sometimes that doesn't happen. Sometimes explanation is needed. Sometimes communication is needed. And I found every time you talk and you open up, even if you don't want to, you can find the answers. Even if you're not looking for answers and you just want to sound off, we all need to talk to somebody to explain, to understand. To learn. Now I've made mistakes in my life and I've hurt people, I've lost people, all through my own actions, and I take ownership of them. And I will continue to take ownership of them. But we as individuals are the only ones who can change this earth and this planet. We as individuals are the only ones that need to take responsibility and understand we need to change the energy. We need to change how we think and how we feel and become an inspiration to others and walk around feeling happy so we can inspire others and be the light. We can't expect presidents and prime ministers and governments to change things because they never will. And we always sit there and say, how lowly old me, how can I change things? I'm a nothing, I'm a nobody. How can I ever affect things? Well, you can. By changing who you are. Not because you're a bad person or because there's anything wrong with you, but 
that's what we have to do as humans. We have to evolve and grow. And it's painful and it's tearful and it's ripping out bits and pieces of your soul. But we have to go on that journey and discover those things and improve ourselves as people and move forward constantly, even if that means letting people go or letting situations go. So in this time of the full moon, it's a good time to set new intentions. It's a good time to set new boundaries and new loves and new wants and desires. So before you do tonight, guys, sit down, connect with your heart, connect with your soul, and listen to that silent voice and the intuition deep inside you, and ask the universe, ask God, ask the spirit, ask whoever it is that you believe in, and truly feel and believe that that will happen. And I wish every soul that walks this earth that they find the happiness, they find the love, they find the peace within them, that no matter what's going on in their lives, that they're happy, and that they have strength, and that they will be able to deal with it all. And to find people that can support you and love you the way that you deserve. So you have a pair of hands and arms that can catch you when you fall. Find those people that make you happy. Find that energy in those souls that make you feel like you can believe. Find that support and love and connect and feel the love that everybody has and feel the love that all the battles that everybody fights. You may be in a 40, 50 year old relationship or marriage right now and that person will not know every battle that you're facing inside your mind, but they love you. Look at that person sat opposite you right now. That person that's opposite you in your life, who's there for you, good or bad. They love you. And they want you to be happy. And they want you to smile and laugh and feel joy. They want you to be able to go on walks and see the birds fly in the sky and feel that simple feeling of joy of seeing something so beautiful. That person sat next to you wants to wrap their arms around you and let you know how much they love you. So remove all our fears. Remove all our worries. And open up. And show people love you have for them. Support them. Let them know that everything's going to be okay and that some of the decisions, although may be wrong, were understandable and everything is repairable everything is changeable but also if it's the end wish people well wish them well with love and find your own path and be happy all our arguments all our fears all our worries and stresses are all caused by ourselves Yes, situations happen that cause all these pain. But find the peace. Find the acceptance of what your life is in this moment. Accept the people that are there. And find a resolution. And if you cannot, and you know deep down in your intuition it's the end, then you find your new path with new people. And you wish everybody well. We're all souls here and energy in a human experience. And we are sometimes inspired to make decisions, to take different paths and different avenues. And sometimes that causes pain and disruption to you and to others. But if that's what's meant to be, then that's what's meant to be. 
So no matter how short or long people are in your life, you have to stay true to you. You have to connect with your soul and your solar plexus, your own energy, your own spirit, and work through what you're here for. Sorry for rambling on, guys. I hope I didn't bore you too much. But I've got Jean in Macon, Georgia, USA, on online. Are you there, Jean? Yes, I am. Hello. How are you doing this season, holidays, darling? Are you okay? Doing well, thank you. Yes. I can actually feel a little bit of joy in your, in, in your life. Um, am I right in thinking that's happened? Something's happened over the last couple of weeks that's that's really uplifted you. Um, actually, it had the opposite effect, but I'm feeling more uplifted every day. But do you understand that something's happened to you that brought you to this stage where you're feeling uplifted today? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And you're working it was a through breakup. That. I understand yeah, that. I understand completely. And you're trying to, I mean, we all go through that, don't we? That initial breakup where we try and fill the void and suddenly habits change. You can't do what you once did and things are different. They're not once. And it can be really quite disconcerting. It makes you feel like a whirlwind. But I will say to you, though, darling, Dean, that um, just through your voice and your energy, it feels like you're through that whirlwind already to a certain extent. You may still have ups and downs. Yeah. You feel that deep positivity within you, and you know what's happened was the right reasons and the reasons why it's happened. Would that make sense? Yes, somewhat. I'm still trying to understand it, but I think I just figured it out. Just, yeah. You did just figure sure. it out, Stan. <laughs> Had that epiphany moment just then, yeah? Yes. I understand. So, um... I understand. Do you know, um, I'm being told, though, um, I know things have changed, but would you understand I'm being shown that um, not just in your personal relationship, but I feel that there's going to be a different different path with your career as well or your job. You're going to be doing something completely different next year. Yes, absolutely, yes. And I feel that this, um, what's happened to you recently, is, is it's almost like they've removed barriers for you, um, as painful as they may have been initially but they've removed barriers for you that now next year, there's going to be things that you're going to be able to do that you once wouldn't be able yeah. to do. Yes, Does I think I was caught up in the relationship and not meeting my personal goals. Yeah, I understand that. And would you understand that in the next month or two as well, they're showing me that this new career path that's going to uh, come your way next year, um, I do feel I'm being shown that um uh january and february in particular you're gonna you're gonna have to learn some things about it or they're gonna be bringing things your way that are gonna uh, allow you to learn or research or, or or get more into whatever this new career path it is you want to do and I, I will be honest with you i do feel that there's a spiritual angle to it as well i do feel that there's something along those lines or it's going to be <coughs> a spiritual path of some kind or your spiritual path but i do feel that there may be workshops or or or, or educational things or whatever but i feel january and february there's going to be things that you're going to have to learn or things that are going to come your way that you, you will do that will teach you and it will make you more um you'll be more confirmed in your own mind that's what I, it is i want to do so when the opportunity comes along you can then take it with both hands Yes, 100%. Um, two seconds. I do feel that they've... And would you understand, I've got a lady to connect in with me and she wants to say straight away, you didn't do anything wrong. Oh, yes. Thank you. Okay. It was, I do, the f I do feel she's showing me, although I feel... Um, you emotionally had the hardest time of it. I am being shown and told that um, yeah, you didn't do anything wrong. 
you, you need to still, although you feel like you're coming out the other side of it, there's still parts of you that feel that you've done something wrong. And I'm being shown, no, you didn't. It was just two people that wouldn't, that shouldn't be together. Yeah, <clears throat> I understand that totally, yeah. And, and I know it's a cliche, darling, and I most, and most probably, you most probably won't feel like this at the moment. But I do feel that um, there will be there will be somebody else coming in. I get July, June, July time around that time. I feel that your heart will be healed enough that you'll be able to accept, you know, the new the new energy that comes in. Yeah, exactly. A few people trying to come in now, but I'm just taking my time. I understand, but I do feel you need to take, yeah, you're right on that, you need to take your time, and I think it's June, July time. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's about the time when I feel that you'll be ready. But one thing I would yeah. say, uh, one thing I would say, darling, you're saying there may be, you know, a new energy coming in and everything else like that. Be honest. Be honest with that other person that you won't be ready until june july time or six months a year yeah. whatever be honest let them know exactly right, yeah. where they stand and also understand as you move forward with this other energy even if you're just friends understand that they will get emotions so if the emotions change or you grow closer to them but you're still not ready still be honest with them still tell them that you're not ready and that's exactly what I've been doing with the people that I meet. I let them know. Okay. Well, good. I don't mean to lecture you. I'm not telling you if you are or not doing it. And if you are doing it, that's wonderful. And that shows you you have a good heart, a good, honest, true heart. But all I'm saying is there may, I do feel that there will be emotional um, moments coming up as well because people, people, without them meaning to, um, people, will sometimes expect more than we can give and we also fall into the trap ourselves of giving too much and like you said earlier you gave too much to the point that you were forgetting your own personal goals yeah i understand so i understand how you feel completely um but be honest and true to you. So all the way along, even if someone wants more, be honest and true and say, no, I can't give you more. Or if you are prepared and say, but heal you first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been doing just trying to sit with the pain and let it burn up and trying to not, you know, because I meditate a lot. That's just about all day, every day. But as soon as I come out of that, I start feeling kind of lower vibrational energies again. So lately, I've been just doing silent meditations where I just feel the pain and not try and block it and let it burn out that way. Okay. Do you under, um Do you when you meditate? Do you know where that feeling is in your body physically? Do you know where it sits? Does it sit in your chest, in your stomach? Where? What chakra? You mean the, the pain or the good feeling? Yeah, the pain, the pain and the feeling and all um, that. And... In my heart chakra. Okay. When you next meditate, try this, darling. When you sit okay. down, close your eyes and take, your, take three deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth and get yourself to that place that you get to when you normally meditate. But then okay. when you open up your mind's eye and you visualize in your meditation, I open up all your chakras as you do and allow the energy to flow through and clear any blockages you may have. But then concentrate on your heart chakra and then imagine that you're seeing a very small pinprick of light coming out of your heart. And I want you to just concentrate on that small pinprick of light. And as you concentrate on it, you see that it gets bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger, brighter and brighter. And I want you to keep on visualizing it and looking at it until eventually this light grows and it grows and it consumes your whole heart, your whole chest, till eventually your whole body, your whole being is just, just this beautiful beam of divine white light. And it will push away all those feelings. And then 
the following day, the day after, those horrible low vibrational feelings will come back because of how you're feeling and what you're going through. And you have to remove them again. And you have to keep doing okay. it and doing okay. it and doing it until you feel better. Okay. Okay. I'm actually doing it now while I'm talking to you. It's um, really, really uplifting feeling. Lately, Good. my spirit guides have been showing me this diamond around my heart chakra, really huge diamond. Oh. I'm pleased for you, darling. I'm pleased that you're feeling, you're feeling that energy that I'm trying to give to you, that I'm trying to give out to you, that spirit are also letting you know they're around you. And you have the strength to do this, Jean. You have the strength to become the person that you wish to be. I appreciate that so uh, much. Thank you very much. Right. And don't, we make mistakes and sometimes we hurt people by what we say and what we do. But learn from mm -hmm. those things, learn how people hurt us and learn from it and move forward and be become that person you've always wanted to be, Jean. Yes, I appreciate it. Thank you. You answered my questions without even me asking. I was going to ask you about a finance and about my, um, the feelings that I've been having. And <laughs> thank you for being so intuitive. You're welcome, sweetheart, anytime. You take care, sweetheart, and I wish you well. You take care, Jean, on your journey. Thank you, Jean, for coming. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Too. You take care. There we go, guys. Keep moving forward. And this is a full moon of energy that can allow us and help us release the old and bring in the new whether that's mental emotional or physical or people around you remove the old and bring in the new feel free find your happiness find your laughter and find your joy wake up every day and wish for the brightness and the happiness that every day brings the kingdom of god is within you and all around you it's all about you guys it's all about ourselves so i wish you all well i wish you the happiest of new years i wish you the best 2024 and i love you all goodbye